Picture this, a dimly lit living room, the soft glow of the television casting flickering shadows across the walls. It's a cozy evening, and you find yourself nestled in your favorite armchair, perhaps a bowl of popcorn within reach. The year is 1953, and you're about to embark on an extraordinary journey. The screen crackles to life, and there it is, the iconic title, The War of the Worlds. As the film unfolds, the ominous Martian spacecraft descends, bringing with it a chilling sense of impending doom. The memories of your first encounter with this cinematic masterpiece flood back. The suspense, the wonder, and the thrill of that very moment. You remember how it transported you to a world under siege by extraterrestrial forces, leaving an indelible mark on your imagination. Now, let's dive into some intriguing details about this classic that continue to captivate audiences decades later. So, did you know that The War of the Worlds was directed by the visionary Byron Haskin, and produced by none other than the legendary George Powell? Or that the Martian war machines, with their menacing three-fingered arms, became the stuff of science fiction legend? The film's iconic use of special effects set new standards for the industry and has since inspired generations of filmmakers. And who could forget the unforgettable score by Leith Stevens, which added a haunting and suspenseful dimension to the film. But perhaps the most enduring aspect of The War of the Worlds is its ability to make us question our place in the universe. It serves as a reminder that in the grand tapestry of existence, we are but tiny, fragile beings in the face of the unknown. So, what are your own cherished memories and reflections on this cinematic gem? Let the nostalgia wash over you as we explore more random facts about this incredible movie. Get ready to be amazed. The War of the Worlds, behind the sounds of Martian war machines in the 1953 adaptation of H.G. Wells' classic The War of the Worlds, the Martian war machines are not the towering tripods described in the novel. Instead, they take to the skies as flying machines. This departure from the source material was due to a practical challenge. Filmmaker George Powell didn't know how to make a tripod walk convincingly on screen. The original novel envisioned the Martians' machines as massive three-legged tripods, but bringing them to life in the film proved problematic. The technical limitations of the time and the lack of modern special effects technology led to the decision to opt for flying machines. This choice not only made the film more feasible to produce, but also added a unique and iconic element to the adaptation. Furthermore, the decision to go with flying machines added a layer of menace to the alien invaders. These sleek, menacing vessels hovering above Earth's cities created a sense of dread and otherness that remains a defining feature of the 1953 film. Notably, the film's creators faced other challenges in later years when considering a stereo version for home video. Paramount Pictures wanted to release a stereo version of The War of the Worlds, but they lacked archival sound elements, particularly those related to the Martian ships. However, a stroke of luck came from an unexpected source. The makers of the 1988 War of the Worlds television series found themselves in the position of recreating the sounds of the Martian warships from scratch for their production. These sounds were eventually used by Paramount to create the stereo version of the science fiction classic allowing audiences to experience the film in a more immersive way. In a fascinating twist, two of the sound effects in the 1953 film later inspired iconic sounds in Star Trek. The sound of the war machines hovering was created using an Echoplex tape echo machine, a technique that involved recording a sound repeatedly to generate a continuous loop with variations in pitch. The same method was later employed to create the sound of a hand facer in Star Trek. Additionally, the sound of the skeleton ray in the 1953 film was crafted by hitting an enormous empty oil storage tank and playing back all but the initial milliseconds of the impact. This method was also used to create the sound of a photon torpedo in the beloved sci-fi series. In conclusion, the creative choices and technical innovations behind the War of the Worlds provided not only a captivating cinematic experience, but also left an indelible mark on the world of science fiction, inspiring future works like Star Trek and showcasing the power of ingenuity in filmmaking. In the 1953 movie The War of the Worlds, directed by George Powell, there's an interesting connection to a popular animated character. Walter Lance, the creator of Woody Woodpecker, had a close friendship with George Powell. As a result, a subtle nod to Woody Woodpecker can be spotted in the film. 
In the scene where the Martian cylinder meteor flies over a tree, keep an eye on the branches, and you might catch a glimpse of Woody Woodpecker. This was a tradition for George Pal, as he liked to include Woody Woodpecker in each of his films. Additionally, the eerie sound of the Martian spaceships shutting down was achieved in a rather unconventional way. It was created by recording the sound of vacuum cleaners being turned off. This unexpected choice of sound added to the mysterious and otherworldly atmosphere of the film. Lastly, the design of the Martian machines in the movie was influenced by nature. Albert Nazaki, the production designer, drew inspiration from manta rays, cobras, and swans. This unique approach resulted in the iconic and memorable appearance of the alien tripods, making them even more menacing and fascinating. The War of the Worlds is a classic science fiction film that continues to captivate audiences with its inventive details and storytelling. In the making of the 1953 movie The War of the Worlds, there's an interesting tidbit about the estate of H.G. Wells. They were so pleased with the final production that they offered director George Pal his pick of any other of Wells' properties. George Pal chose the time machine, which he later brought to the big screen in 1960. This decision showcased the trust and approval the estate had in Pal's work. It's also worth noting that in a scene on a hill, about 50 actors were filmed, and then their images were copied and pasted to create hundreds, adding to the movie's grand scale and intensity. This innovative use of technology was groundbreaking for its time. Additionally, during the early days of filming, production was briefly halted when Paramount realized their filming rights for the novel only covered a silent version. However, this hiccup was swiftly resolved with the kind permission of H.G. Wells' estate, allowing the production to proceed smoothly. These behind-the-scenes insights shed light on the making of The War of the Worlds and the collaboration between George Pal and H.G. Wells' estate, ultimately contributing to the film's success and enduring legacy. As we bid adieu to our exploration of the 1953 cinematic masterpiece, The War of the Worlds, I encourage you to take a moment and ponder the impact this iconic sci-fi film has had on your own life. Whether you were spellbound by its groundbreaking special effects, intrigued by its timeless tale of alien invasion, or touched by the enduring human spirit depicted on screen, this film has etched its mark in the annals of cinematic history. Now is your moment to share your cherished memories, your deep-rooted connections, and your unique perspectives on the War of the Worlds. Perhaps you marveled at the awe-inspiring Martian war machines or found yourself contemplating the fragility of our existence in the face of cosmic forces. Maybe you were captivated by the resilience of the film's characters, their determination to survive, and their unwavering spirit in the face of otherworldly adversity. Your thoughts, experiences, and emotions are the threads that weave the rich tapestry of this cinematic gem. Share your favorite moments, characters, or even the lessons you drew from this classic. Connect with others who've been similarly touched by this remarkable piece of art. Thank you for joining us on this journey through cinematic history and sharing your thoughts on the War of the Worlds. Your insights and personal connections enrich the tapestry of this enduring tale. Until next time, keep the spirit of curiosity and exploration alive in your heart. We'll meet again for more intriguing adventures in the world of cinema.